Hi everyone, just coming on to my second video of the day. Um, now, this is something I like to do regularly. I like to bake and make scones, so I thought maybe I'd go through why procedural writing is so important. Now, procedural writing is like a list of instructions that tells you what to do. And I'm sure from the first couple of days of looking at the treasury book, you've under began to understand that. So if we look here, when making scones is a title, very clear, that's what our aim is to do, our objective. Now the time that it takes is 30 to 45 minutes. 30 minutes, which is half an hour, 45 minutes, which is three quarters of an hour. So this is a nice little link with maths today. Now, then you have a list of the ingredients, which sometimes will be materials, which will sometimes be equipment. So you've got maths again, 225 grams of self-raising flour. Now obviously you need a measuring scale if you're going to do something like that. One teaspoon, TSP is abbreviation for teaspoon, baking powder. A pinch of salt, which is literally using your fingers, 25 grams of caster sugar, 50 grams of butter, um, 150 grams of milk, and one egg, which is used at the end to kind of coat your scone. Okay, now you'll see that I've no raisins down, so these are actually plain scones. If you'd like, if you're making your own, you'd add in whatever you'd like. I've seen them made with coconut, I've seen them made with raisins, I've seen them made all different ways. Now, we're here, yesterday in your book you've seen bossy words. Words that tell you what to do. In this you'll see a lot of bossy words. For example, step one, preheat. And you're going to need, if you are to do this, you need an adult for that. Preheat the oven. Sift, which is using a sieve to shape the flour. Stir. Mix. Add. Leave. These are all bossy words that tell you what to do during a procedure. And then you can see it's a list of instructions and information that will help you get your aim of making scones. Now, as you can see, it's got steps one, two, three, four. I couldn't fit five and six on the board. I will write them in a minute and post them and just in case any of you are going to make this during the week. Parents, please don't kill me. This was just trying to explain how to make scones as part of the work. Um, along with that, you'll see that very precise information. They're not overloading, they're not saying preheat the oven to 200 degrees Celsius. You can have quite short sentences here. It's just a set of instructions. Preheat oven 200 degrees. So everyone knows what that means. It's not a good sentence, it's not a good sentence structure, but it tells you what to do. That is often what you'll see a procedure of writing. As I said, it's a list of steps and equipment or ingredients that help you reach a goal. I hope this helps and maybe we might see some videos of scones or pictures of scones later on in the week.